Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. doing a mini makeup haul this is gonna be my first makeup haul of 2024 I don't know if it's considered really mini because I do have you know quite a few things here I have a few pieces from Sephora and a few pieces from this Korean store that I shop at online called yes style and I just needed to stock up on some things so I decided to make a couple purchases and I'll show you guys what I got so let's start with Sephora first by the way, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the Sephora things first. I did get this gift set here. This is like a mini set from Huda Beauty and Kayali, and it looks like this. And you basically get a full size lippy and then a mini perfume. And this is what I wanna travel with. It's called Sparkling Kiss and it is $53, I believe. It says Canadian 39 and then Canadian 53, but I'm pretty sure this was $53. I don't know, super weird. But it does have a full size lippy in the color Gossip Girl. And I love Huda Beauty's lippies. I know she reformulated them. I haven't tried the reformulated version, like AKA this one, but my favorite from her old line was the color Muse. It's still made today and it's one of her best sellers, but this one came with Gossip Girl and Gossip Girl looks like this. It's just a really nice wearable, neutral pink color and i'm gonna save this until i finish a few more lip products i am kind of i don't know if i'm really doing a project 10 pan right now i don't know like if that's a thing these days still it's basically you have to finish 10 items in order to buy a new one or start using a new item so i don't know if that's still a thing but i I'm definitely trying to go through my lip products and finish as much as I can this year without, you know, opening up any new ones. So we'll see when I end up using this. What I was excited for the set the most is her new perfume. It's called Eden and it's the Sparkling Lychee number 39 and it looks like this. And I am super excited for this. I wanted to try it out at Sephora. Honestly, my mom didn't really like this on me and neither did Andy, but it's all about, you know, what I'm happy with and what I like. I think that's the most important thing. They're not a fan of it, but it's such a beautiful scent. It's such a juicy lychee scent. My mom was more like, it's too strong. I'm like allergic to it. And Andy was like, yeah, it's way too strong, but I don't know, I really like it and I got this for when I go traveling because it is small and I think that this will last me three weeks, I'm pretty sure. So I just didn't wanna bring a bunch of those like travel sized, you know, perfumes, you know, the ones that are, you get in sample sets and that sort of thing. I just didn't wanna do that. So I wanted like kind of a medium perfume, not something too big where it's like full size and not something too small where I'm gonna go through like 10 of them. So I do like this and I think that it will go with my trip very well. I'm going to Asia, it'll be really hot there and I think that this is definitely a nice spring summer scent. So I'm very excited for this. I also picked up the new Summer Fridays lip balm. I haven't tried Summer Fridays before. I know that there's a big hype around them, like a really big hype around them. I've not tried any of their products. I was gonna get the glow glossier one but it was always sold out and it didn't have the best reviews so I decided to try this instead and I got the limited edition one in birthday cake and I just birthday cake anything I absolutely love so I cannot wait to try this out I don't know if I will take this with me on my trip or not or if I'll use it anytime soon until I go through a couple more of my lip balms but I am excited for this and I'm definitely going to be using this in the summer for sure so there's that. And then there was also this launch that came out, the limited edition Laneige lip sleeping mask. And I honestly needed a lip balm, like a lip sleeping mask, I guess, because I went through so many of these already and I always get like the smaller sized ones. But basically this is the scent, cotton candy. 
Why does that always happen? Every time I open packages, like stuff like flies out. It, the stopper just came off, but whatever. Oh, this smells so good. I honestly didn't even try this or anything like that. I literally just bought it and I haven't opened it because I'm still finishing up the one that I have right now and it's by Burt's Bees. So this is really, really cool. So this is what it looks like. It's swirled. It reminds me of like those 90s lip balms that you would get from like the school fair. Like you guys remember those, you know, scholastic book fairs and stuff like that. I used to have a lip balm that looked exactly like this. So this is more like nostalgia for me. Plus I love the smell of cotton candy and this smells like Blue raspberry cotton candy I've heard so love this and I cannot wait to use it so next thing from Sephora is this set right here it's by rare beauty and I don't know if I showed this to you guys before I've had this for a while I haven't actually opened it yet but it's by rare beauty and this is my first blush from them and I'm really excited for it it's just a mini blush in the color happy and honestly this is just really good travel size perfect liquid blush and I'm definitely going to take this on my trip with me it's a really beautiful color it's definitely a color that I gravitate towards and that's still going to last me forever blushes take so long to finish and this also came with a liquid lip balm in the color nearly petal and it's just a lighter version of the blush, I feel like. It's like a really nice warm tone kind of peach color. So that is that. And then the last thing from Sephora is this Pat McGrath Lippy. So it looks like this. I have been wanting this color for a really long time. This is the Matte Trance Lipstick in the color 1995. So it's really pretty. I love sharp. I was gonna say Charlotte Tilbury. I love Pat McGrath packaging. I think it's really beautiful. It's just very sleek and it feels really expensive. And so 1995 is a beautiful nude color. It's like a warm nude, very, very pretty. That's what it looks like. I love these matte lipsticks. They almost, I'm trying to see if it has a smell. I'm not like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't have a sense of smell to be honest. Like. Not until like I put it on my lips and I'm like, oh, I can really smell it. But that's that. I have been wanting this color for ages, so I finally picked it up. And I think with a dark lip liner, this is gonna look amazing. It's definitely gonna look very 90s inspired. And then from Yes Style, I picked up a few things because I needed moisturizer. So I got the Iceland Aqua Gel Cream by the same. And I have tried the same products before. They have really, really good products. And I just, I really wanted to try this for the longest time. Oh, I thought this was glass. It is plastic packaging, but it looks like this. And it is a gel moisturizer. I have super oily skin. So I think that this is gonna work well. And it's just very, it's cute. It honestly reminds me kind of like sauna vibes or like if you're like going to Iceland and there's like hot pools outside, what are they called? Like hot springs and stuff like that. That's what this reminds me of for some reason. But this is what the cream looks like. I kind of want, like a lot of things from the same line. I've been watching quite a few items from them. They have a mask that I want to try out and then they have this really cute polar bear eye stick. It kind of like wakes you up. It's like a like an eye cream but in stick form. And then this Juicy Pang blusher by Apio looks like this. This actually looks like that rare beauty color that I showed you guys earlier. It's just like a warm tone peachy pink. But I wanted this for the longest time. I do want to wear more blush and because I love blush. I want to wear blushes when I, when I go hiking because I think that blushes look really good in photos and videos and stuff like that. I've been looking for a liquid blush for a really long time. I was more looking for like a blush tint, think like Benetint, that sort of thing. Like maybe by a Tude House they have like the water tint. But I saw this and I'm like, this looks even better. This is more of like what I'm looking for. So I am excited to try this out. And then the last thing that I picked up is by Mary Mond, and I've never heard of this brand before. I got the color number two in vanilla. I feel like when it comes to BB creams and stuff like that, I'm usually a color deeper than the lightest. So this, I am gonna be doing a reel or what is it called on YouTube? Like a short, it comes in a cake box. Like it's literally 
like cake and it even has the cake holder at the top here. Very, very cute packaging. And then this is the compact. This is the makeup refill, whatever it's called, the cushion part of it. This is basically a cushion BB cream, by the way, if I didn't say what it was. It's a cushion packed and it comes with a powder puff, mirror, all of that good stuff. And I don't know if it already comes with a cushion. Maybe, maybe this is the refill. I think it already has the makeup in here already, but this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute, right? And then you put this, it has like 3M tape on it. You put it on top, like on top of the packaging like this. So it literally looks like a cake. It's so cute. It's the cutest thing ever. I fell in love with this and I had to get it. And also this is SPF 50, I believe. So these cushion packs are SPF 40 pay plus plus. So I love these like BB cream cushion packs. They're one of my favorite Korean beauty items ever. You just have to find a really good one, but I am so excited for this. I will do a short, just kind of setting this up and showing off the packaging because it is absolutely amazing. And I love it, that it's a cake. So that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.